Hi guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today we are going to show you a common problem with Mercedes W163, which is the M class from 98 all the way until 2005. Stay with us, don't forget guys to subscribe, we upload a new video every day, hopefully we save you some money and travel. So, the weak spot on those Mercedes is the overflow bottle right here for the coolant, for the anti-freeze. So, what happens right here, they start cracking over time and they start leaking. And as you can see, this one right here on the side, it leaked pretty bad but they didn't overheat it because they stopped it on time and you need to attempt to do the repairs when the engine is cold so now the technique is so there is two nuts that we need to remove right there in order to replace it and the new one okay the second one is right there and the new overflow tank we got it on ebay brand new for only $29 free shipping, it comes with the sensor level and everything that you need. And as you can see, that's where they crack here or the one on the bottom. Okay, and now we can go ahead and pull it. Pull that hose right there, the overflow hose on the side. And now you can pull it forward. So you can work better and have a little bit more room. Okay, like that, and it's it's pretty pretty tight fit there because you have quite a few hoses. But now you need to release the okay the wire for the sensor for the level right there. So you press both of those in and pull. Okay, let me show because it's a little bit dark. Okay, like that. Now with the screwdriver you need to remove the clamps right here there is different kind of clamps depending if it has been replaced or if they're the original ones and even different ears have different clamps so we remove the top holes and if you have some coolant in it it will probably leak out so be prepared that's why you need to attempt the repairs when the engine is cold and I'll just remove the bottom one the same way we remove the top one as well. Just loosen the, the hose clamp all the way and pull it out. Okay, like that. Okay, the second hose came out of there. And all we have right now is one big hose. And it's the one right here. Let me show you. This is the new tank on the bottom towards the passenger side. In order to reach the hose clamp and the hose better, you need to remove the engine cover by just pulling it up. He has a few clamps holding it and one in the back there. Okay, like that and it goes up. So that gives you more room right here to reach the hose clamp as well. Okay guys, so now you can cut a water bottle like that, a water jack and the last hose, if they get stuck, you can help them with a screwdriver. Because now we're going to leak a water out of it. Okay, right there. So we don't make as big of a mess. Okay guys, and now you just put the new one together the same way we took the old one off. It's a pretty simple procedure. Just fill it up with coolant until the cold level. Let the car stay for a little bit, run it, shut it down and check the level. So that's the whole procedure guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, we upload at least one new video every day.